so we are here doing our eighth month update uh now i know that nobody will probably watch this this is more for me and trying to keep up because time has flown by so fast right lena right right and and she's growing literally in the blink of an eye like i cannot believe that she's going to be a month like a year in a couple months in like five months so crazy so right now she is a little busy bee she cannot stand still <laughs> She hates standing still. She always has to be on the go. She always has to be touching things. She started crawling at like six and a half months. And then now she's master crawling, right? And then about a week ago, she stood up by herself for like two seconds. Obviously, she fell down, but she let go of everything and she stood up. She's done that maybe a couple times, right? Whoa. Um... So, um, she popped her first tooth out maybe like two weeks ago and um, it was torture she kept waking up like every two hours and um, she was fussy she was cranky and it was just really really bad um, she's learned how to do high five high five yay high five high five yay good job <laughs> here here um, she learned how to do that. I think she learned that maybe like a couple weeks ago. Um, as for what she eats, she eats pretty much, um, oatmeal, purees. We do mash up like solids. So, um, like beans or something like steamed, uh, carrots and stuff like that. I do mash it up, but she doesn't really like the, um, puree consistency. I feel like she gets bored of it. So that's why we mash up like beans. So it has some type of texture. Um, I stopped breastfeeding at seven months. So almost a, a month now. I wasn't exclusively breastfeeding. I was um, pumping. And then the, my supply got really low when I went back to work. So what I did have, I would just feed her in a bottle. But I would say maybe 70% of the time she was uh, formula fed. The rest was uh, breast milk. Now my supply really, really dried up, I would say maybe when she turned seven months, so that's when I stopped. Also, um, I go to the gym and stuff like that. I just wanted my body back and I wanted to be able to take pre-workout without like feeling guilty or worrying if she's going to have too much energy and if it was going to affect her. So now, I mean, she doesn't miss it. She doesn't at all it was more me that I was like no I don't want to give up breastfeeding but that's a whole nother video because I would I went through lots of ups and downs when it came to breastfeeding that I never never would have imagined imagined going through like never I thought it was just going to be a breeze I thought it was something like that I didn't really have to think about but my experience was a little crazy her hair has been turning a little bit more curly. Now my hair is a little wavy. This is way, a little bit wavier than usual, but her dad is half white, half black. So I cannot wait to see what her hair is gonna look at look like when she gets older. It's been turning like this curly <laughs> after we bathed her and stuff because when she was younger, it was mainly like straighter. <gasps> What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah! <laughs> she's been a lot more vocal, too. She's been saying the word Appa, and she's been saying the word Mama. Mama here and there, but Appa, she, say, she says that a lot. Now, I don't know if that means Papa, or if that means Patrick, because every time she sees Patrick, which is our dog, she says Appa a lot, so I'm not sure if that's what she's trying to say. She's very, um vocal with what she wants now like if she doesn't want something if she wants a toy if she doesn't want to eat something she'll definitely let me know um but she's kind of always been like that that type of baby where she'll let you know when she's not comfortable or something like that she's always been that type of baby when she was younger i decided to move so she could be in the background but um her f like thankfully i haven't had any problems with any types of food that we've given her Nothing has really caused her constipation. If anything, she's going twice a day instead of once. I think because of the fiber and all the fruit that we've been giving her. Yeah, yeah. 
Now, we are a mainly plant-based family. That does not mean that we are vegetarian or vegan. We eat about 80% whole plant foods or vegetarian foods, if you would say that. And then the 20%, we do eat dairy and we do eat cheese here and there and some turkey. It is just our choice. It is the way that we eat. So um, I don't feel comfortable giving her the puree like chicken or puree turkey and stuff like that. If anything, when we do have chicken, if anything, when we do have chicken, we give her a little bit without the spices or a little bit of spices and then we mash it up really well for her. Lena. But other than that, I don't really feel comfortable giving her the pureed like meats and stuff like that. We definitely don't eat any red meat. Now, I am a not concerned, but I do wonder how it's going to be when she gets older, when she gets like a year, a year and a half, and then we do leave her with family because our family is, um, you know, they just eat everything. Um, I do wonder if we're going to have issues in, in the future or if everything's going to be smoothly and they're just going to respect our wishes. I've also noticed that she can play on her own a lot, like, longer. I will leave her in her crib. Yeah. I will leave her in her crib or in her play mat or on the floor on the foam letters. And as long as she has her toys that she does like, um, she can play and entertain herself for maybe, like, I think the longest was like 30 minutes, which I was just watching and I was just seeing how long she could go. She does use the walker and she uses it pretty well. She loves like walking around and like following our dog and stuff. So I think that's pretty funny. I think that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to say. Um, she is understanding the word no more. So whenever she's getting into something that I don't want or something like that, I've made it a habit of to like to say the word no but in a certain way over and over again so when she's getting into the dog's water bowl or something like that and I'm like Lena no no Lena no then she knows like to she I can see her thinking about what I'm saying and then she'll some days she'll stop sometimes she won't and she'll just be like I don't care and she'll get into whatever I'm trying not to let her get into she does not sleep in her crib she co-sleeps with us that is just a choice and that we've made as a family and right now we don't really see her changing or changing her sleep like where she sleeps maybe when she turns a year or something we'll see but right now we're okay with her co-sleeping with us she likes her crib and sometimes we'll try to put her in there to nap but for the most part she naps and she sleeps on our bed she loves her crib to play <laughs> to play in. Sometimes I'll have my bref breakfast in here and I just set her in her crib with her toys and I just have my breakfast and she's fine. I think that's pretty much it. I mainly wanted to make this video for myself just because I see all these baby updates online and I'm just like, man, I wish I did this sooner or I wish I had the energy or like the mindset to be able to do something like this. <laughs> Um, when she was younger, like three months, one, two, three months and going on. I'm mainly putting this out there for myself to see Elena growing. And because it's crazy how much they grow within a month. And the differences and the developments that they are, like babies are achieving. Like it's so mind blowing. So Elena's getting a little cranky. So I think we're going to go, right? Yeah. High five. High five. Hey. Okay. So say bye, Lena. Bye. Say bye. Hey, bye, bye. <laughs> yeah. Look, Lena. Look. <gasps> what was that? Uh, what was that? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. <laughs>